In modern genomic workflows, there are multiple points where quantification is critical. There are several techniques researchers can use to quantify nucleic acid content. In this video, we will discuss two different nucleic acid quantification methods commonly used by researchers, absorbance A260 and fluorescence. The two instruments we will focus on are the thermoscientific nanodrop-1 microvolume UV vis spectrophotometer and the invitrogen qubit-4 fluorometer. The nanodrop-1 spectrophotometer uses absorbance at 260 nanometers and the Beer-Lambert equation to calculate DNA and RNA concentrations. The primary benefit of the nanodrop-1 instrument are quick measurement times, the ability to measure concentrated samples without dilution, and obtaining information about sample purity. In addition to purity ratios, the nanodrop-1 spectrophotometer introduces the highly sophisticated thermoscientific Aclero contaminant ID software, which identifies common contaminants in nucleic acid preps. The qubit-4 fluorometer quantifies concentration by binding specific fluorescent dyes to the analyte of interest. The final unknown concentration is calculated based on a user-generated standard curve. Fluorescent measurements are very sensitive, allowing for accurate measurement of dilute samples. Dye binding is selective for DNA or RNA and provides concentration information even in the presence of co-purified contaminants. There are many kits compatible with the qubit-4 fluorometer including RNAIQ, which provides information about RNA integrity. When used together, these two techniques allow researchers to obtain a clearer picture of sample quality than either technique alone. Experimental success depends in part on accurate evaluation of the sample used. The main technique on which researchers rely to analyze gene expression is RTQPCR. Reliable RTQPCR assays demand careful experimental design, extensive QC, and transparent data analysis. In 2009, leaders within the qPCR field established the Mikey Guidelines in an effort to improve the quality of published qPCR data. Mikey Guidelines stipulate that accurate template quantification and contaminant information are essential when publishing qPCR results. An RT-qPCR assay includes two enzymatic steps. In the first step, RNA is converted to cDNA using reverse transcriptase. Normalizing the amount of RNA going into the reaction helps minimize variability in cDNA production, which can be crucial since RT reaction efficiencies can change with different RNA concentrations. During the second step, gene-specific primers are used in combination with cDNA template to determine the relative expression compared to reference genes. Reference genes are an important part of this reaction because they are used to normalize small differences in cDNA input. If there are large differences in cDNA amount, normalization based on reference genes can become problematic. Using a combination of the nanodrop-1 spectrophotometer and qubit-4 fluorometer gives researchers the most complete picture about their input RNA quantity, purity, and integrity. The Mikey guidelines require all three characteristics to be determined and reported for publication. Sample genotyping using the Applied Biosystems TACMAN assay requires the template concentration in the reaction is above a certain threshold. If not enough template is used, allele calling software will not be able to determine the genotype of the sample. Data on the left were obtained using optimal template concentration in the PCR reaction. Each sample can be grouped into one of three genotypes. When inadequate template is used in the reaction, the software is unable to make allele calls. The results are indistinguishable from non-template controls. As with the RTQPCR reaction, the concentration provided by the nanodrop-1 spectrophotometer and qubit-4 fluorometer is critical for experimental outcome. An absolute quantification qPCR experiment utilizes a standard curve of known template quantities to determine unknown sample gene copy number. This qPCR method requires the concentrations of the standard are determined reliably. Samples should also be free from nucleic acid and organic contamination. An accurate standard quantification produces false gene copy number calls. Using a combination of the nanodrop-1 spectrophotometer and qubit-4 fluorometer provides the researcher the most accurate quantitation as well as identification of contaminants that can affect reaction efficiencies. Nanodrop spectrophotometers and qubit fluorometers have been the gold standard in nucleic acid quantification for years. Both of these platforms have evolved to meet the stringent sample quality demands of molecular biology research. In addition to concentration, 
combining these two techniques gives researchers an accurate picture of their sample, detect degraded RNA before RT-QPCR reactions, ensures enough template is used in TACMAN assays, and that the template is free from contaminants, such as phenol, that can potentially harm sensitive polymerases. Together, the Nanodrop 1 spectrophotometer and Qubit 4 fluorometer can provide a complete solution for your nucleic acid quantification and qualification needs.